Hello again, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Remington Target Master 510 or 510. Uh, it's a long rifle or 22 short, single shot, bolt action 22. And I have to say that this is probably one of the sweetest little 22s you could ever hope to own. Uh, it, it truly was made for the days when people shot targets with open sights um, and not scopes. Uh, the people who made it really knew what they were doing. It's just a sweet little gun. I inherited this re recently from my grandfather and uh, he's had it for a long, long time and I've always looked at it in his gun case and uh, always wanted to shoot it. So finally uh, the day came that he decided to give it to me and so now I have it and uh, I'll tell you what, there's a little bit of a family, family feud going on over this gun right here. And you wouldn't think that a simple little single shot 22 would cause that, but that just shows you how sweet this little gun is. Um, it is just so easy to load, unlike a lot of uh, single shots. You just drop that right down there and bam, you're done. The safety resets each time, so you have to remember to turn it off. The gun has a sweet trigger pull on it, just is so sweet. It truly is a target master. Just put that in there and it just goes right in and you're ready to go. It is easy to shoot. Um, I got a little target out there. Uh, the sighting system on it, like I said, was made for the day when people shot with sights. Um, it is so easy to, to adjust it. Uh, it just, and it's old, so it's been there for a long time. It just lasts. People really knew how to make open sights really well, but. I haven't actually shot this a lot, so I'm gonna go for the big red. I've got an impact target down there, so I'm gonna go in for the center on it. Hopefully we'll be able to see. And I'm not shooting sandbagged. I'm at uh, 30 yards, so. Okay, I got a shot on in the, the, the center bullseye. A little high at the uh, top right corner of it. Let's go again. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to turn that safety off every time. Oh, about the same spot, shooting a little high and to the right. Or almost in the same same hole. So now I'm gonna shoot at the four smaller dots. And uh, I'm almost 50 years old and I'm shooting with open sights here, so, and I don't have glasses, so I'm a little far sighted. Okay, just under the top, the top uh, small dot there. Ah, oh, keep, okay. Oh, that was right in the left one, right on the money. Bullseye on that one. And now we're going for the bottom one. And another bullseye. So, um, just kind of had to learn where she was shooting on that. All of, all of the, sh the, the shots, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna try to do a little better on that right, the right side sh one there. Bullseye right down the center of that thing. Now those are those are dime size Those are dime size uh, Little dots out there. I'm shooting at 30 yards with open sights and I'm not a young man Almost a bullseye on that one so you can see this thing uh, is just <laughs> for my age and eyesight and uh not shooting a sandbag, 30 yards. Uh, I was able to put three bullets in a row in a, in a dime size at 30 yards. So, I mean, that has got to be a testament to something. Uh, I'm just basically sitting on the table. There's no sandbag here. Just kind of holding it steady right there. That's just, it's just a sweet shooting gun. Um, this, this is the gun that, you know, if you want, 
it, it's actually the barrel is quite long on it. I mean, the barrel is probably seven inches longer than a standard uh, 22 uh, 10, Ruger 1022. So now what I'm going to do is uh, compare it to the Ruger 1022. So here you can see the difference. Here I'm going to line the the barrel and the magazines there, the chamber. Looky there. I mean, look how much longer that barrel is than the the standard Ruger 1022. And that's probably why I'm getting so much more accuracy out of it. The question is, does that long barrel hurt? Does it hurt or uh, improve the uh, actual velocity of it? So we're going to shoot some shots over the crony here and let's see what it does as far as velocity. 1299 1269 1327 so uh, let's say thir uh, we had uh what was it four shots right there about 1300 we're going to say uh 1300 feet per second on average this is garbage ammo which means that the uh charge consistency is pretty low on it so you're going to get some difference there but uh, overall uh, if you throw away the high one and the low one most of them were right about 1300 feet per second right right there uh, with within a, just a few feet uh, numbers digits of each other so I'm going to load up the Ruger 1022 and uh, go ahead and run some shots across the crony here 1365 1298 1311 and 1258 so what we see is that actually the numbers out of the target master are more stable even though there was a little bit of variance there there wasn't nearly the variance that we got out of the Ruger 1022 and the reason for that is the longer barrel means that uh, more of the powder is able to burn in the barrel and the full amount of powder and the charge is burned each time so you're getting more consistent pressures the shorter your barrel is, the more inconsistent your pressures are, um, and so that's why we're seeing that. But uh, there you have it, the review of the sweet little Remington Target Master 510. If you ever get a chance to get one, I would say buy it. If this video has been useful to you, please like, subscribe, and comment.